ever feel like the world you see isn't the real one? Like there's a hidden layer, one of code, exploits, and secrets? This is the world of hacking. The tools we'll discuss are powerful and what you do with them matters. This is about understanding the system, not breaking it for personal gain. Knowledge is power. The first step is seeing the walls around you. If you're ready to look behind the curtain, stick around. Let's get started. First, you need a map. That's where Nmap comes in. Network Mapper, your essential tool for exploring the digital landscape. It's your flashlight in the dark, probing networks to reveal what's out there, shining a light on the unseen corners of cyberspace. Nmap scans for open ports, running services, and possible vulnerabilities, uncovering the hidden pathways and entry points that most never notice. Every open port is a potential way in, every service a possible weakness. Each result is a clue, a piece of the puzzle that forms the bigger picture. You can be loud, scan everything and get noticed, making your presence known to anyone watching. Or you can be stealthy, slipping past defenses, moving quietly through the shadows of the network. This is reconnaissance, not attack. It's about gathering information, not causing harm. It's about seeing the architecture, the strengths and the cracks, understanding how everything connects and where the weak spots lie. Security pros use Nmap to find holes before attackers do, staying one step ahead in the ongoing battle for control. It's about perspective, thinking like an intruder to defend like a pro, always anticipating the next move. But Nmap is neutral, it just draws the map without judgment or intent. What you do with it is up to you. The power is in your hands and so is the responsibility. The same tool can protect or destroy. It's a double-edged sword shaped by the user's intent. Are you mapping to secure or to exploit? The choice defines your path in the digital world. Nmap doesn't care. It just shows you the world as it is, revealing the truth beneath the surface. The rest is your choice. Every action you take shapes the story. Every security journey starts with a scan. It's the first step toward understanding and control. The map is only the beginning. What you do next determines where you'll go. Now let's see what's behind those doors. Each scan opens up new possibilities and new challenges. The world is bigger than you think, and with Nmap, you're ready to explore it. Once you have the map, you need a key to unlock the next stage. That's where Metasploit comes in, a tool that's as essential as it is powerful. Metasploit is an arsenal, thousands of exploits and payloads, all modular, all ready to be deployed. It's like having a digital Swiss army knife for hacking. Nmap finds the door, Metasploit picks the lock. Together, they form a perfect partnership for digital exploration. You match the vulnerability to an exploit, choose your payload and launch your attack. Each step is guided yet customizable, letting you adapt to any situation. It automates complex attacks, making exploitation accessible even to those who aren't experts. What once took hours can now be done in minutes. This is the democratization of hacking, powerful tools for anyone, anywhere, leveling the playing field in cybersecurity. Officially, it's for penetration testers, simulating attacks to prove vulnerabilities are real and help organizations defend themselves. But Metasploit doesn't care who you are. It's just a framework, neutral, waiting for someone to wield it. It's a loaded gun on the table, useful for defense, but dangerous in the wrong hands. The consequences depend on the user. The line between ethical and malicious is intent. Every action is a choice, and every tool can be used for good or harm. Metasploit is a test. Will you use it to build or to break? The power is yours and so is the responsibility. Information wants to be free, but freedom comes with responsibility. Every unlocked door is a new opportunity and a new risk. The skeleton key opens many doors. Choose wisely because every door leads somewhere new. The next step, wireless worlds. The adventure continues. Wi-Fi surrounds us, an invisible web connecting our homes, offices, and public spaces. It's everywhere, quietly powering our digital lives. Our data, our secrets, our private conversations, all floating through the air, often unnoticed and unprotected. Air cracking is the tool that proves nothing wireless is truly safe. It's a favorite among hackers and security professionals alike. It listens silently, capturing the handshake when any device connects to Wi-Fi, waiting for that crucial moment. That handshake contains a hashed password, a coded lock that guards your network. Aircrack attacks it with a word list, trying millions of possibilities, testing every guess with relentless speed. Weak passwords fall in seconds. A simple word or phrase is no match for its power, but strong ones can take years or even decades. Aircrack exposes human laziness, our tendency to choose what's easy. Simple passwords are its feast, the low-hanging fruit for anyone with the right tools. 
Ethical hackers use it to show companies their wireless weaknesses, helping them patch holes before real criminals strike. It's a wake-up call. Your network is only as strong as your password. Aircrack is neutral, a double-edged sword in the digital world. It can secure or it can break. The choice depends on who wields it. Every signal in the air is a potential target. Trust nothing wireless. Assume every connection is vulnerable. The air is full of secrets, hidden, waiting to be discovered by those who know where to look. Don't let yours be one of them. The next frontier, passwords themselves. Are you ready for the challenge? How strong is your key? Let's find out. Enter the Ripper. Passwords are digital keys, but often our weakest link. John the Ripper cracks passwords by attacking their hashes. It's smarter than brute force, using word lists, rules, and common variations. If the easy guesses fail, it tries every possible combination. Only truly complex passwords survive. Admins use John to audit their systems, finding weak links before attackers do. Every breach, every leaked hash, is a feast for John. It's a reminder, your secrets are only as safe as your creativity. The tool is relentless, feeding on predictability. Don't be predictable, the chain is only as strong as its weakest password. Next, what if you have to guess in real time? Meet Hydra, the many-headed beast. Sometimes all you have is a login prompt. Hydra is the brute force machine, attacking logins across dozens of protocols, fast and relentless. It tries thousands of username and password combinations in parallel. It's loud, aggressive, and tests the strength of account lockout policies. If there's no lockout, Hydra will find the weak spot. Security pros use it to prove how quickly a simple password can be cracked. In the wrong hands, it's a tool for breaking and entering. Most vulnerabilities aren't exotic, they're just bad passwords and lazy admins. Hydra is a sledgehammer for weak doors. The defense, strong passwords and smart policies. The attack, relentless guessing. The lesson, don't make it easy. Now let's intercept the web. The browser's next. Enter Burp Suite. The web is a conversation. Your browser and the server talking in the open. Burp Suite lets you stand in the middle, intercepting, modifying, and replaying requests. You see every hidden field, every parameter, every assumption the developer made. Change a price, alter a user ID, test the logic. Burp Suite exposes flaws not in the server, but in the application itself. It's the core of web app testing. Find the cracks in the business logic. Replay, modify, and map the attack surface. For developers, it's a debugging tool. For hackers, it's a weapon. It reveals the raw conversation beneath the polished UI. Control the data, control the outcome. The web is full of secrets. Burp Suite helps you find them. Next, let's inspect the server itself. Nikto is the inspector. Let's see what's hiding. Web servers are the backbone of the internet, but they're often misconfigured. Nikto scans servers for outdated software, dangerous files, and common mistakes. It's not subtle. Thousands of requests looking for low-hanging fruit. The output is a checklist of risks, open directories, old scripts, unpatched software. Admins use Nikto to audit before going live. For attackers, it's a quick way to find easy targets. Nikto automates the hunt for forgotten doors. It's a sanity check for anyone running a server. The internet is full of neglected machines. Nikto finds the ones no one's watching. The next target, the database. Poison the well, and you own the data. Enter SQL map. Behind every dynamic site is a database, often vulnerable to SQL injection. SQL map automates the attack, detect, exploit, extract, Feed it a URL and it probes for injectable parameters. If it finds a weakness, it can list databases, dump tables, even take control. What's abstract becomes real. Usernames, passwords, credit cards, all exposed. SQL map turns a simple web flaw into total compromise. Penetration testers use it to show the true impact of SQLI. For defenders, it's a warning. Sanitize your inputs or risk everything. The database is the heart. Protect it or lose it all. SQL map is efficient, relentless, and terrifying. The next layer, the network itself. Let's listen in. Wireshark awaits. Data travels in packets, tiny fragments crossing the network. Wireshark captures and dissects every packet, revealing the truth beneath the surface. It's a microscope for your network. See every handshake, every header, every secret. Admins use it to troubleshoot. Security pros use it to hunt for leaks and malware. On open Wi-Fi, it can capture unencrypted logins in plain text. Wireshark is passive, it just listens. But what it hears can be shocking. It teaches paranoia. Never trust an open network. Always look for encryption. The packets don't lie. Every secret sent in the clear is a risk. Wireshark shows you what's really happening. The network is alive. Watch it closely. But the biggest risk isn't technical. 
it's human. The strongest system can be undone by a single person. Social engineering exploits trust, not code. The social engineer toolkit set automates phishing, fake sites, and more. Clone a login page, send a convincing email, harvest credentials in seconds. Set is used for training, showing how easy it is to trick people. One click, one mistake, and the defenses fall. Companies use set to test and teach their staff. The less in humans are the weakest link. No firewall can stop a well-crafted lie. Set weaponizes psychology. Security is about people as much as technology. The final choice is always human. What will you do with this knowledge? 10 tools, 10 keys to a hidden world. They're just code. Neutral, powerful, and dangerous. We've pulled back the curtain. What you do next is up to you. This is about education, not destruction. The real power is in understanding, not breaking. Use this knowledge to build, to secure, to protect. Don't be a pawn, be a student of the system. The journey is just beginning. There's always more to learn, more to see. The world is more complex than you think. Thank you for watching, friends. Subscribe if you want to keep exploring. There's more work to be done.